of alleged police violence across the country, a local civil rights attorney is now pointing fingers at Amarillo police. He claims an unarmed man was abused by officers during a bogus arrest on marijuana and resisting arrest charges uh, earlier this year. However, Jeff Blackburn says they never should have stopped his client to begin with. 21-year-old Robert Johnson says he was traumatized by the March 28th incident. His family says he's intellectually disabled and functions like a five to seven-year-old. I remember I got threw on the ground and my head on the ground, and that's it. This is police dash cam video of the incident. Officers were responding to a domestic violence call at this home on Northeast 24th when Johnson rode his bike past the home. He stops when confronted by officers, but watch what happens next. The officers take Johnson to the ground, then two other officers come running in, and then you see what looks like one of the officers punching Johnson as he lay on the ground. Later in the patrol car, you can hear an officer questioning Johnson. So why are you riding your bicycle through the middle of a police crime scene? Herman Moore witnessed the incident. He says he confronted one of the officers, saying the force was excessive. And he proceeded to tell us, well, uh, he rode through my crime scene. And I told him, well, you didn't have to whoop him like that for that. Well, you didn't call you to do all of that. He was not driving through a crime scene because there, were, there was no warning tape, there were no warning lights, there were no flares, there were no roadblocks, there was nothing. The scene apparently was not clearly marked. In fact, you can see officers just now putting up crime scene tape after Johnson was arrested. You can see his bicycle still lying on the ground. Blackburn says this isn't about race, it's about police policy. We're talking about poor people, white, brown, and black, uh, and I think the problems are deeper. I also think there are problems that can be solved. I, there are good police departments that are not all like this. We can fix this department. Now, police would not do an on-camera interview, but they did issue this statement late this afternoon. It says, prior to today, no complaints were made to the department regarding this matter. Upon notification, Chief Robert Taylor ordered an internal affairs investigation to be initiated immediately.